fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and white, officially weighing 142 pounds, professional record 52 fights, 47 victories including 35 knockouts with three defeats and two even. Ladies and gentlemen, the former flyweight world champion, former junior featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion and current lightweight champion of the world from General Santos City, the fighting pride of the Philippines and number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Manny Pacman Pacquiao! Fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy and gray, official weight, 145 pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, his professional record stands at 44 fights. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with five defeats and 10 world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, former two-time welterweight, former two-time junior middleweight, and former middleweight champion of the world, the golden boy from East LA, Oscar. De la They call this a dream fight, a good dream, a bad dream, an exciting dream. Let's find out. No, no, no. But he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating, but already Pacquiao shows you that he wants to move in, move out quickly. Move in, land a flurry, move back out, out of Deloia's range. Two graphic impressions from round one, they're simple. Deloia is so much taller, Pacquiao so much faster, and now Deloia nails Pacquiao momentarily against the ropes and catches him with a left hook to the body. There's a rush to the jail, but right now, Manny is hitting him with his punches off. That, that momentarily shocked Oscar. I think the speed has been bothersome for Oscar throughout the round, who simply can't believe how easily Pacquiao snakes his left hand right through the middle of Deloia's guard. Deloia lands a left hook, but Pacquiao right gets away. Right here you see what surprised me and has been probably the most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is issued right between the gloves of Oscar. First hand, or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. And one thing that you mean is very obvious, Oscar De La Hoya has very little head movement. He is bending his head so that there is only almost no height yes, difference yes, between right. them. And that Pacquiao is lands a brilliant and, uppercut and up the middle. Yeah, and if round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao. The best weapons in the sport for over a decade. The speed and variety of Manny Pacquiao on offense as soon as he felt his back against it. There is a big swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya, the product of Manny Pacquiao's right hooks. Manny Pacquiao is the first southpaw Oscar De La Hoya has fought since September of 1997 when he fought Hector Camacho Sr. Pacquiao has dominated De La Hoya in the first two rounds with his straight left hand lead up the middle. Early in his career, Pacquiao always set this punch up with Dan. It looks like a guy going up, doing a 360. Three to nothing. Manny Pacquiao based on not only clean punching, ring generalship when he turns the guy. And when Harold was speaking, Oscar landed a good straight right hand, but then Pacquiao came back seconds later with a flurry of left hands. The right hand has never been a super destructive punch for Deloitte. I asked Freddie Roach yesterday in our meeting, I said, have you ever seen Oscar Deloitte really hurt somebody with a right hand? And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, move his head, at least he'll keep his right hand in the center of his face and the more he keeps it up right near the side, they're leaving a perfect hole for Manny to go right through, and that's what he's doing. But good he doesn't body, jab enough. Good body shots there by Pacquiao. And if there was doubt coming in as to whether Pacquiao could any and doubt he, anymore. And you watch when Manny lands his left, he then moves off often to his own right. 
So he stays out of the line of fire. He hits it and moves away as soon as he lands it. This is getting embarrassing. It's an event when Deloya dodges a left hand. And yes. since then has retired unbeaten. Low blow by Pacquiao. After he strafed Deloya with the right hand upstairs. What is the feeling of a fighter when he's in there with somebody who's always beating him to the punch? This is a terrible feeling. The worst thing it is, I say, to deal not have the speed. And he cannot, he doesn't block those right hands at all. He has his right hand permanently stuck in the side of his face. And, and Manny just punches us like a wild open invitation. Block anything, he has no defense. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. Yeah. Far more of an intelligent and tactical fight plan than I personally had expected. And perhaps more so than Deloy expected as well. Well, if judges are looking for a round to give to De La Hoya, this might be the one, although now Pacquiao rallies down the stretch. Straight left hand right up the pipe for Pacquiao. After fighting Steve Forbes in May, fighting Manny Pacquiao is something entirely different from fighting Steve Forbes. Okay. You ever see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting his straight left hand right down the pipe? Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar De La Hoya's yeah, but, but still, you would think against the so called smaller man, we'd see something more. Yeah, but I think Jim summed it up. There's too much of everything. He just cannot figure out how to get into the fight, how to hold him off, how to get to him. It's too much of everything tonight. Maybe trying to lay a trap. But Manny is too smart and too fast for it. Yeah. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao yeah. is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. And in the seventh round, De La Hoya has zero answers for the Pacquiao assault. No, no, he cannot do anything. He can't Pacquiao is anything. making De La Hoya look old, slow, ineffectual. As though he is a sparring well, Manny fighter. Pacquiao would become the Henry Armstrong of this era. Right now, he's looking like the immortal Armstrong. And Tony, Tony Oscar Rick, is Tony barely Rick's throwing is back. Very you and wonder if Tony Weeks is thinking of stopping the fight. Yes. Who's looking at Oscar? Deloya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Oscar's left eye is almost closed. An embarrassing seventh round comes to a close. Embarrassing for Deloya. Exciting for Pacquiao. Right here you see Pacquiao landing punch after punch. And it's not so much just the way he's landing him. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. He looks Almost like supernaturally he's... big welterweight. Antonio Margarito. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140 after this fight. This could be the end of the fight here. Yeah, Oscar has no defense at all. He's, he's, he's not at all. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar Delaware has passed, but he's getting beaten up here. We're going to stop it. Better we stop it. It's, it's our decision, Oscar. It's a decision that we have to take. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? You're with that? You agree? Official time at the end of round eight, referee Tony Weeks calls a halt to the bout. The winner by TKO victory and still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny. Pac-Man! Pac-Man!